Okay, return to power. Does it matter? Okay, kita silakan. Okay. Okay. Hai, selamat petang Kawan-kawan uh, semua uh, Adakah semua daripada Kulai? Ataupun datang daripada jauh? Huh? All from Kulai? Ah? Oh, huh? Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. And I know you are falling asleep okay. First of all uh, Saya nak jawab yang Empat soalan tadi yang uh, apa Moderator kita memberikan So, I, very briefly I will answer this first and then I will Go into what I see Uh, currently, uh, you know, what is going on Adakah Mahathir Soalan pertama, adakah Mahathir dan kliknya Telah meragut buah perjuangan Rakyat Malaysia Pada pandangan saya No, I don't think so Kenapa tu? Sebenarnya yang meragut Buah perjuangan uh, rakyat Adalah kita sendiri Kita sendiri yang Tidak bersuara kita sendiri yang senyap tidak membuat bising seperti sebelum G14. Okey. Seperti yang Mr. Lam cakap tadi kan. Dia kata selepas G14 ah ada banyak kumpulan-kumpulan yang konservatif, yang ekstrem yang dia lebih kuat bersuara ya. Okey, mereka lebih lebih kuat bersuara dan jadi pada pandangan saya, what happened today? Why Pakatan Harapan tiba-tiba telah tiba-tiba menjadi uh, satu uh, 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 you know going towards racism and uh, religious, more religious and more racist is because they thought this is what the rakyat wants. They are not hearing. They are tidak dengar suara kita dari pihak progresif, dari pihak moderate dan dari pihak liberal Perkataan liberal lah, Sudah jadi kotor Ada orang malu Nak panggil dia liberal Tetapi kalau awak tahu Apakah erti liberal It is a very good word Awak rukun negara Ada perkataan liberal Liberal means I accept you as you are And I hope you will accept me as I am Okay that is liberal But Of course, the conservative telah mempromosi ini perkataan liberal ini mengatakan orang liberal ini promote LGBT. Kalau dia pandai, dia tahu LGBT kita tak boleh promote. Okay? You cannot promote LGBT. A liberal person will assist an LGBT, LGBT person equally as an ustaz or mufti if they are being persecuted. That is what liberal means. They will help people from being persecuted, not promoting what their lifestyle is. Nobody can promote being an LGBT. Then anti-Islam. Anti-Islam. See, they have played with our minds. And the fault is who? Ours. Kita sebagai rakyat Malaysia. Yang telah pangkah Pakatan Harapan. Ingat macam saya lah dulu. Saya pangkah, pangkah Pakatan Harapan and then... Wow, pakatan, pakatan harapan menang saya terus Oh, okay, I can relax now, man I don't have to do anything, I don't have to worry Wow, then suddenly I see uh, this movement uh, the, the, the religious movement, the racist movement Because religion and race in Malaysia is very intertwined Okay, so they cannot run away, tak boleh lari So, makin lama makin kuat bersuara Makin lama makin kuat mereka jadi, mana suara-suara yang lain ni? Tak ada. Semua tak ada. Jangan harap kita punya politician. Politician, dia akan dengar mana yang dia rasa, oh, I think I must uh, listen to this side, huh? because otherwise I will lose my position the next uh, general election. So, this is why I say to all the questions that you have asked just now, it's actually no. Not at all. Nothing to do with Mahathir. What is happening now is because of you and me and a whole lot of Pakatan Harapan people who have been quiet all this while, who did not actually speak up for what you want in this country. That is our problem. Okay? Because everybody keep quiet, everybody is so afraid, 
tu speak up takut kena tangkap <laughs> betul I know, I know I know fear is actually our number one enemy people are in fear to speak up of what they want for this country people are so scared because they they are so scared oh I don't know whether what I'm saying is uh, is okay or not because you know they see a lot of people get arrested right see this is the problem I believe okay I'm talking to the uh, like this is because from my experience of working with the aura asli for the last 10 years when I first you know, met the orang asli Mula-mula mereka teriak Langsung tak ada Apa tu, jati diri, takut Even dengan, uh, dengan perkataan polis Oh, takut Okay, that's how fearful they are Dia takut dengan orang-orang yang mereka Sangka lebih pandai, lebih bijak Lebih kaya daripada dia Tetapi apabila kita Bercakap dengan dia, lama-lama kita beritahu Dia hak dia, dan kita cakap Dengan dia bahawa Mereka akan dibantu oleh peguam-peguam Sekiranya mereka ditangkap Kerana menegakkan hak mereka Mereka jadi berani tau Itu sebab you tengok sekarang ini banyak broket Dulu tak ada The first broket was 2012 Okay and masa tu baru-baru nak uh, uh, Apa tu bersemangat eh? So why I say this I say this is because I think if we as a society terutama kaum-kaum bukan Melayu dan Melayu yang mahu melihat Malaysia progress ke depan daripada mundur ke belakang tidak bersuara kita akan hancur ok that is the bottom line ok why I say this now saya telah study eh, Malaysia dari segi undang-undang dari segi the, uh, the progress uh, the community Malaysia Saya so, tengok <coughs> What is our number one problem here? I know a lot of you are not um, uh, Chinese kan Tapi you will never say up front right? Until until actually a Malay say Our current problem Is the region and the race problem Seriously That is the problem Yes. From that, you get corruption, you get communism, you get all those others. Okay, why? Because only through religion, you can make the people stupid and dumb. Because you are not supposed to ask questions. An example, past before. What do they say? What do they say? Oh, jangan. Uh, pangkah uh, orang kafir Lebih baik kita pangkah orang Islam Yang walaupun dia Corruption, corrupted Itu dia punya Dia punya pandangan You see, when a Muslim leader Say like that Okay, for us, because we use our brain <laughs> But I can tell you majority Of the Malays And especially Past followers they will actually follow their leader because this is what their religious people say because religious means that you have to follow you cannot question there is no way you can maneuver because to them Islam is what they say I can tell you Islam is not like that at all you want to know what Islam is? the western world that is the true Islam and this is why New Zealand is Negara Islam nombor satu di dunia You know that? No. Ah, Please uh, google This uh, Muslim uh, researcher uh, He's a doctor, he did a research On uh, which country in the world Is the one number one Islamic country And he found New Zealand Okay, the, the top ten is actually all Western countries. <laughs> and where is Saudi Arabia? Hundred something, I think. Right, you see? Being a Muslim is not about rituals. It's not about your the way you dress. It's about how you lead your life. That is... Do you agree with me? Yeah. Huh? Dia pergi apa, perhimpunan uh, itu anti Perhimpunan ni, perhimpunan tu But none of us The moderates, the liberals And the progressives say anything Nobody 
don't hope for our politicians because the politicians will not help us. They are thinking about their own rice bowl for their future election. So because they thought that is really what the majority wants. And this is why we as Rakyat must start to mobilize. You see, and I do believe the voices of the, the, the um, progressive and the moderates are not being heard. And this is why a few of my friends, they are non-activists, okay? We started this Malaysian Action for Justice and Unity. Have you heard? Yes. Okay. I hope you understand why we created this because we are so desperate. Really. Okay. We, we felt that if we don't actually have a group of people, doesn't matter who you are as long as you are Malaysians and you support the view that Malaysia must go forward instead of going backward, you join us and be a voice of big numbers of Malaysian. And that is the time when the government then notice, oh, actually, ada suara lain, rupanya. You see? Because all this one yang keluar cakap pas amno, they have what? Pas ada berapa juta uh, members? Do you know? Tiga juta. Tiga juta. Amno yes. ada berapa members? Tiga juta. Tiga juta. So based on their numbers, whoa, that's quite a lot of numbers. Of course, the government is pandering. They are politicians. Lah. You must remember that. Now, as long kita sebagai rakyat, kita sedar bahawa kita adalah tuan. Yes. We are the boss. Yes. We elect them. So speak up. Okay. This is the problem with us. When we see a so-called YB, Oh, punya tunduk siapa yang ada aku ke bawah? <laughs> Seriously, why? They should tunduk to us. Yes. We are the boss. Yes. We elect them. So now we must get our power back. Do not feel fear. This is where Maju is going to train. Our talk is going to be not about politics. <laughs> Malaysian Actions for Justice and Unity Maju is about empowerment. We are, we are like this now, I talk to you. Another five minutes? Huh? Oh, oh, what? So fast. <laughs> no, question will talk to you. You okay, okay. Get another five minutes. So, Maju, for us, is when you come in uh, for our talk, I'm going to, we are going to give you the empowerment talk. Why you need to be empowered? Why you must speak up? Why you shouldn't keep quiet anymore? Okay? This is so important. Very important. So we are not going to say this is a political man, party is better or no, no, no. We are not political. We want to train the Ranya to know about their rights. We want to train the Ranya, don't say stupid things on social media so that you don't get caught. Okay? Yes. We want to train the Ranya to say the right thing so that the message get to the powers that be. Okay? So I, you know, Machu is for Malaysians. Doesn't matter whether you're Indian ka, apa ka, China ka, Melayu ka, apa, orang asli ka. Doesn't matter as long you want to see a um, progressive Malaysia. So I really hope, you know, everybody thought Maju is a third force. Huh? We are not third force. We are only a pressure group. And the pressure group can only work with numbers. Yeah, and then we want to have people to talk on behalf of Maju, not just Siti Kasim talk. So we have Professor Tajuddin. Professor Tajuddin, anybody read his article? Yes. He is with us, with Maju. On the 13th of November is our first talk at Kuala Lumpur Selangor Chinese Assembly Hall. 13th November at 8 p.m. Our first talk on my, in Maju, uh, Professor Tajuddin, myself, and maybe Dr. Lim Teggi. Okay, we want to tell people that why they should not be afraid. It's so important. So really, what is happening now is all down to us. Really. You see the names that he gave just now, Isma, Sentra. They were very well paid, very well funded during bar, uh, BN time. I know that because you see, this uh, where Islam was, is going in Malaysia is my passion. I go to a lot of forums. I know all these people and I follow the law and our law 
is actually is very bad to be honest the law is not actually siding with us currently we have to do something we must go back to our original constitution we have to take out all this rubbish amendment that has happened throughout the years for 60 years there are about 400 or 600 amendments at our in our federal constitution not many people know actually I, I think a lot of you here don't know that as a non-Malay, you can tell the government, I don't want my tax money to be paid to a religious authority which is not mine. Do you know that? Do you know that? No. That is in our federal constitution. Okay? It is in our federal constitution but nobody knows. Okay, so this is the thing. We, 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 we make so much noise. Why one billion giving to Jakim? For what? For what? Seriously. You know, uh, I, I can tell you, um, I have, if you want to know the figures, huh? how many uh, Malays uh, are rich in the T20? How many Chinese in the T20? How many Malays in the, in the B40? How many? All the, uh, in, in my article, the end game, uh, the, our education system. You please Google it, you can see the figures there. It is not I made up the figure, it is actually figures given in our parliament. The truth is, you know who are, who are the richest people in Malaysia? Who? The Malays! Yes! Okay, let me read. Sorry, I didn't give me five minutes. Huh? I just want to give you the figures. This is like a shocking thing. Huh? Uh, a lot of people were shocked. Okay. Uh, this was provided by the parliament in 2015. Eh? Try to finish in two minutes. Eh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bumiputra households make up the majority of the country's top 20% income earners. T20. Okay? But in the Malay community, it's the widest intra-group income disparity. What it means is that even though the Malays are the most richest Okay, in the top T20, but in between the M4, or M, M, or M, M40, is it? Yeah. Uh, and, and the B40, okay, the Malays a lot more in the B40. Why? Why is that? This is why I keep asking. The Malays must ask this. Why is it the richest in Malaysia are Malays? But then, they are the poorest also, many Malays within the group. Please read my article, The End Game. Uh, uh, the title is uh, Malaysian Education and Quota, The End Game. All the figures there. But the Chinese and the Indians, somehow their figures are quite uh, uh, even. Okay, there is no, no gap. Meaning the equal, the, the rich, the middle one, and the, the lowest. Why is that? This is why we have to ask. Why the Malay leaders now, the elite, they want to keep on maintaining the system now? Because they want the Malays to, keep, to, be, to continue to be stupid. <coughs> so they can make more money for themselves. For their families. Yeah. <coughs> they, they are the elites. And the poor Malays remain, remain poor. Mereka akan sentiasa jadi, jadi miskin dan, dan tidak tahu tentang hak mereka. Itu sebab mereka tidak mahu tukar the education system. Kenapa dia menggalakkan menggunakan agama? Kerana menggunakan agama adalah salah satu cara yang paling senang untuk membuat orang bodoh. Boleh saya tuju satu soalan kepada anda? Boleh, boleh. Terus. Okay. <laughs> saya memang tertarik dengan konsep progresif anda. Ya. Yeah. Dan setiap orang mungkin mempunyai konsep progresif yang berlainan mengikut posisi dan kedudukan mereka. Contohnya, ada orang berpendapat bahawa Utaya Kumar atau Hindra 2.0 menuntut hak gong India kepada kerajaan adalah progresif. Ada juga demokratik atau organisasi yang berpendapat bahawa tuntutan mereka adalah kemunduran atau resis. Okay. Saya ingin bertanya, bagaimana anda melihat tuntutan etnik minoriti khususnya kaum India? Adakah anda atau maju akan menyokong tuntutan mereka? Oh, of course. Sudah tentu. Sebab kita tengok 
Orang India ke China ke Apa siapa pun adalah rakyat Malaysia ha? yeah. We don't see you as your race We see you as a Malaysian And if Hindraf As I said, I know Veda Muti If Hindraf is standing up for their own race Because there are so many poor Hindus Why not? Of course they should Because they care for their society You know, this is not about racist political party No Pas Amno, yes That pas, uh, apa, umah, umah, whatever, umah lah You know, that's bullshit If you believe that, dia kata Oh, oh tak ada, tak ada, kita bukan racist eh? kita, kita hanya uh, hanya mau menunjukkan kekuatan Melayu Eh, selama ni Melayu tak kuat ke? Dia nak tunjuk kekuatan yang atas tu saja Yang orang elit tu saja sebenarnya Okay, itulah Orang Melayu ni sebenarnya Baik hati tau sebenarnya Okay, I check dengan you 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 see a lot of attacks uh, People think the Malay hate me, right? But I go everywhere Even in the kampung Apabila saya terangkan kepada mereka Bahawa Adakah mereka faham kenapa saya tolak RUU 355? Saya tanya Ah, Saya tak faham lah tak Kenapa agak tolak? Bukankah ini agama Islam? Itulah, I kata you tak faham apa dia RU 355? RU 355 ni tanya ada kena mengenai dengan Islam pun. Ini tentang dia nak hukum kamu. Okay? Sekarang ni, uh, this is just my conversation with the Grab driver. I say, you sekarang ni, you dengan I ni haram tau. Kalau you kena tangkap dengan I, you kena punish. <laughs> Betul lah cakap. This is reality. Kalau masuk uh, dalam syarikat kuat sekarang ni, paling maksimal dia boleh charge 3 tahun penjara. RM5,000 denda dan enam sebatan itu saja maksimum tetapi apa yang PAS nak, nak usulkan dia nak naikkan daripada 3 tahun penjara kepada 30 tahun penjara daripada RM5,000 denda dia nak naikkan ke RM100,000 denda daripada enam sebatan dia nak naikkan ke seratus sebatan Atas kesalahan apa? Moral sins Bukannya yang bunuh ke Sebab dia tak boleh Mahkamah syariah tak boleh lah Hukum uh, yang apa bunuh ke atau Yang mencuri ke tak ada Tak boleh Because that is in our federal constitution Clearly says it's the civil court So now apa yang dia boleh Dia boleh denda dengan hukuman yang sebegitu tinggi Hanya kesalahan Kaluat, okay. Kaluat ni tak semestinya kamu buat seks, okay? No, 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 no. In a room, you, you are not my murim. I, okay. We are all now tengah berkaluat. That is berkaluat. They can get you for that. Can you imagine that? And and uh, they have tried. They have tried to push and push. Maybe some tak tahu dia pernah tangkap orang orang uh, di Terengganu naik motor. Bukan huring naik motor Ada tahu tak? Tak tahu kan? Uh, maybe ada yang tahu Tapi I follow all this I want to see So they want to try They keep on pushing the boundary And then dia sebat perempuan Kononnya uh, Apa tu Lesbian Yang dia sebat perempuan itu Di halayak ramai Ada tengah? Ada dengar? Ada. Dia terengganu yeah. Okay the, the, the woman is in the car Okay And when Bila ada uh, Satu-satu uh, Insiden yang Macam itu Mereka protect huh? Maksudnya tak Bagi kita akses Untuk tolong Budak itu Memberi tahu hak dia Apa-apa Seperti itu yang uh, Apa Tafiz Yang terbakar tu Okay Yang mati anak-anak ramai itu Dia tak bagi Mana-mana NGO huh? Jumpa Tak bagi Lawyer Dia tak bagi Itu apa Majlis Agama Kongkong Tutup Tak bagi Sebab apa kalau nanti tahu dapat lupa tahu hak dia nanti huh. Sekarang ni mereka nak sama apa sama Dia dapat tahu 7 juta masuk dalam pengetua punya akaun Satu sen tak dapat mereka tak dapat Baru nak sama kan The last 3 minit dia yeah. boleh buat so, so basically very simple Number one We as Malaysians must stand up And speak up and be brave And know about your rights Very important Everything, all changes comes down to us, the rakyat. Okay. Number two, we have, we we must stop blaming the politicians. 
Because whatever you say, they're not going to hear, hear us. They don't care. We have to take action. Okay? And number three, very simple, please join Maju. I have forms today. After this, come and meet me. Fill in the forms. Give me 50 ringgit per year only. Then we can do our active, uh, activities. And I hope Sahabat Raya will help us to recruit more members. And then we can send people to come and help and tell you our vision. I'm not trying to sell uh, Maju. Uh. To be honest, I don't earn anything from that. I'm not allowed. Every six months, we have to send our accounts to the Love One Foundation. We are under LOSA. Okay, so none of us are working for money. Uh, so it is actually nothing to do for us making any benefit. It is for the Ryan. It is generally because we are so concerned and worried for the future of Malaysia. So we really must tell the people our problem now. We need to overhaul our school. We need to get rid of all of this separate religion from the politics. That is really the main key. It's not that we are going to keep religion out. No, no, no. People can go ahead and believe in whatever they want to do, but politics should not get involved with religion. That is our aim. We must tell the government, stop pandering and stop getting involved in any religion. It's none of your business. The politician business is to run the country, to make sure that we are successful. You know, in this new technology, we are in the millennium. Science and technology, but the Malaysians are way behind. A lot of good people have left Malaysia. Yes. yes you know, and yes. seriously, yeah. I can tell you if we can do, show to those people that who have left that we are actually progressing, they will come back. Because I live in the UK for 17 years now, I still want to come back. Because my heart is here. Tak boleh ya, sama makan semua tak boleh. Mesti makan Malaysia juga, okay? Kita punya job pun lain, semua lain. You understand? So it's, it's really they will come back, honestly. If they see Malaysia is getting better, uh, you know, no persecution towards the minorities or anything like that, and it is fair and, and, um, and, and good for everybody, I can assure everybody will come back because we love Malaysia. And this is why we have this talk, correct? So, let's march together. Thank you. Okay, thank you.